third time in probably less than 30 days that Jim's shitting has interrupted the show. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is... Okay, this, go into detail. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's now... See, at least this time he had the decency to leave during the commercial break, and he's just late coming back. But twice before this, it's been mid-show where he's like, I, I, I gotta go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> and he goes and he shits. And just now during the break, it was, uh, it was okay, I just gotta piss real quick before I come back to do the commercials. And we go, okay, and he goes... But I feel a shit brewing, <laughs> and he hasn't come, he hasn't been back since. No, no good person has ever referred to a shit as brewing. <laughs> yes, yeah, that, that sounds like 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 an evil <laughs> shit. <laughs> a shit is brewing. It's, it's brewing like, inside of me. Yeah, or like old sailors. <laughs> I fear a shit is brewing. <laughs> I a shit is brewing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening. What's okay, going on in David here? Tell's back. We're oh, we're, we're piecing the show back together slowly but surely. What happened? Jim is uh, shitting. Yeah. Oh, well, so, it's, or, it's brewing. As it's brewing. Yeah. yeah who is, shit the, who is, is the brewing. default head of the show now? Sam. Well, I mean, yeah. There's two of us, so okay. I'm, I'm the one that's left. Yes. All right. There we yes. Go. The shit is brew. It was brewing. I'm yes. assuming it's in the process. Of being brewed? Yeah, now it's percolating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The shit is He's served. crowning. He's uh, crowning right now. Well, uh, now, there now there's, there's the man there of the go. hour. No handshake? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. At least a fist bump. What did I miss? So, we so, were just talking to Gilbert about the, the concept of uh, shit brewing. Oh, yeah. Because so the shit, shit was, was brewing? brewing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I just, yeah, I just like went and was dropped. bubbling inside. And... It was. It's my second uh, caffeine uh, caffeinated beverage. Now, now, was <laughs> did, did the shit come out in a solid shape or? <laughs> well, honestly, it looked like it looked like I was bleeding. Oh, because I geez. had I had I had beat a beet drink yesterday, right. so I just shat and it was the inside of the toilet was solid, sure, uh, not we, big but red. We've all lived that lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I ate a lot of ketchup yesterday. Yeah, I know. I had a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at strawberries. <laughs> Gilbert, it's good seeing you. And for uh, I see you're wearing your Christmas blouse. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert always brings the feel of like an Albuquerque. Turkey lesbian. So any, <laughs> like he's going to talk to us about water conservation. <laughs> is this your look? Yeah, I, I guess so. It's your, this is your adult look because I, in your documentary we see the many looks of you. Oh, you know, yeah. From the 80s. Did you see, Jim? I did, yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I had, I was like uh, Michael Jackson right. hairstyle. Yes. And... Lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I slept with a few little boys. I, I don't, I don't try to hide that. <laughs> and uh... I, I slept with, uh, what was the name of that? Macaulay Culkin? No, the, the other. Webster? Yeah, Webster. Webster. What was Webster? Emmanuel, Emmanuel Lewis. Lewis. Emmanuel Lewis. Yeah. I slept yeah. with Emmanuel Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't remember his name. Yeah, yeah so, exactly. But you slept with him. <laughs> He's still alive, isn't he? He is. Yeah. God bless him. Yeah, he is still with us. <laughs> and I'm sure happy and <laughs> content. <laughs> no. yeah. yeah. Just just short, overweight, and uh, yeah. people still call him Webster. So and what could I, go wrong? With, with both him and Gary Coleman, I heard their biggest complaint was you know they were like they were getting older right yeah. and and so they'd be like you know in their mid 40s or whatever <laughs> the hell they were <laughs> and you know when it was time you know guys on the set right you know you see someone that small you assume it's a little kid and they would pick them up <laughs> and, yes. throw, and it's like you know when you're a grown man and you have people picking you up it's and great putting you on their shoulders. it's great that's got to be so great <laughs> to have, i would love grown men just to pick me up <laughs> look at this kid look yeah, at him who's picking me. up random kids <laughs> well you know <laughs> Michael well. Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> You're 20 and people are just coming up and like pinching you on the oh, cheek. Yeah. Look at you. Oh, yeah. You're such Look a you. little dog. You're eating just like a person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at least he died with dignity. Jesus. How did, how did he go? An <laughs> argument with his wife and he fell down the steps <laughs> and banged his little head. God bless him. And and I I had one guy on my podcast, Gilbert Gottfried's amazing colossal podcast. It is a very good podcast. Yeah, yeah it is. And and he was went into detail of what a prick 
uh, Hervé Villages. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. He you was you uh, Ricardo Monteblen? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. He was a bitter little... Yes. I mean, you know, you'd, you'd have to imagine. But he got so <laughs> successful, you would think that some of the success... And the fact that he could get women after he was successful would like yeah. outweigh well, the fact that, that he was, was pissed at how tiny he was. That was the problem. He he was like <laughs> he was jealous of Tom Selleck. Right. And he said he should be making Tom Selleck's money and he should <laughs> get as much pussy as Tom Selleck right. gets. <laughs> I love the idea of Harvey running around in the 80s. Just that yeah. guy, that little tattoo is jealous of Tom Selleck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to get Tom Selleck money. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get all the pussy that Tom Selleck gets. <laughs> he was like kind of weird looking anyway. Oh, and yes. he sounded like that. If he were full size, he'd get nothing. He had a yeah, good oh, head of hair, oh, though. God. He had a good head of hair that Fucking he did. guy, he did. He did. Yeah, that's what... see, God takes, God gives. It's absolutely <laughs> and, right. And, and I, I heard to give him more reason to be. I heard like his insides were a normal person's the size of a normal person's right. insides. Just packed and in. So yeah, it was packed in. That explains the voice. Yeah, that voice. yeah. yeah. <laughs> this pancreas is in his throat. Everything is being crushed in me. <laughs> <laughs> but I want some silly pussy. <laughs> He's just sitting there. He's his kid. You know, when he's a kid, everything's fine. And the older he gets, the more his oh, insides yeah, all just of a start sudden. hurting. Because <laughs> everything's and, growing. And they said his hands yeah. couldn't operate properly. He Why? Didn't have, wow. So what's he going to do with all that? They were so selling? cute. I wanted to kiss his yeah, palms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grab his wrist and just kiss his little palms. <laughs> but and, I mean, if he and, can't use his hands, what's he going to do with all that Tom Selleck pussy? Yeah, so, well, right. he would try. He would go up to women because he couldn't, he needed help with his fly. <laughs> so he would oh. go up to women on the set and go, Help me with my zipper and get my penis out. <laughs> and the, the, these women, of course, would complain to the heads of the show. This isn't in my job description. <laughs> So it's Harvey Weinstein and Hervé <laughs> Velazquez. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, so, and any of the women that Hervé went after, they had, they had to do me one and a half. <laughs> 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 Little guy. If you am to stay on the show, you have to fuck me. <laughs> Hey, Hervé, I don't think uh, Tom Selleck ever had to try the zipper trick. Yeah. Because <laughs> that means they had to put his dick back in his pants. A little, a little wee-wee on the helmet. Oh, oh yeah. Hervé. A, a couple little drops sprinkling out still. Oh, Shake little it fella. for me. He was kind of cute, though, when you look at him, like a big kid. Oh, look at the little guy. Oh, yeah, he yeah. like that. That's it, a, what can, hair on him, though? It was in, it was in started, James Bond movie. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's what was his name in that one? Look at him trying where, to get where that he was like the job or something. <laughs> See oh, him yeah. wearing a little suit. And and you know this he he was a, a gun nut. I know that looking girl, and she's probably going, "Oh God, get this disgusting midget away from me." <laughs> he had good. No, she probably was admiring his hair. <laughs> that, look at the fucking head of hair. It's, He's a good looking guy. He though. really his hair like Herb Tarlick. Just now, a good full head of hair. Or something. Can you? Fine. Yeah. <laughs> he he was singing a song on some seventies variety show. Not like oh my God. not in character. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, he was always in uh, character because he always had that voice, <laughs> and, and and he was always a foot tall. Oh my God! Oh, what there, is he? There, is that it? Oh, what is? Oh, does anybody have a pistol? Oh. <laughs> oh, he's a singer. He's a talk singer. <laughs> Probably a good choice. Why don't they learn to do what's right? Nice, adorable. <laughs> oh, is that a song or a riddle? What is he doing? <laughs> yes. Ah. I should get the money and pussy that Frank so not again. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> what is the nerve of this guy? Yeah. 
<laughs> right, look, I bet you they tape his little hands to that microphone. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, they Velcro it. They, oh, <laughs> now they put in a double. They put them next to each other. They should put one on top of the other one. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like a Fellini film. <laughs> <laughs> His hands look like corn muffins. <laughs> he has a nice the voice, though. The midgets are multiplying. <laughs> you think he has a nice voice, Jim? Yeah, he has a really nice voice. <laughs> yes. Hey, she put so that coat hanger in me. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder how so, he could have trouble getting pussy. Was this before he yeah. was a uh, tattoo? This had to be before, yeah. right? No, this probably after when he was already famous, right? This is probably when he's a yeah, famous guy yeah. on one of those variety shows. It mm. had to be after tattoo because it's not like they heard the voice. And said, <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. It's, it's, it says it's his 1981 <laughs> epic record single. The oh, okay, yeah. Like, for a TV this is show. Cashing this in. Is his, this is his song. The little red shirt. What's he doing in that little red shirt? <laughs> oh, he's as Merv cute Griffin. as a button. <laughs> <laughs> in his little red shirt. Tim, Tim, that's like that stuff. Oh, wait. Uh, Ricardo Montalban discusses working with Hervé Villachez. Oh, here they are together. Oh, this is great. Oh, look at him. Me and my shadow. Sing <laughs> me and my shadow. That's Merv Griffin. and blue. <laughs> Thank you. They're all laughing at him. Look Herve at the and thing. Ricardo got on stage together. No, that's Merv. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Ricardo yeah. Montalban. Yeah. In that oh, white it's, suit. It's yeah. Smurf and he's got a circus freak on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's that? My boss. Yes. Ah, the boss. Nice. They got the line. That's cute. Dressed as Ricardo. How many yeah. comedians come on? The impressionists and they do Hervé Villachez, but I don't think you ever say that in the show. Now here's what they do. Hey boss, the plane is coming. The plane is coming. That's not right, is it? Well, not exactly. Um, I did this about five years ago when, when we did a pilot. They sent me on top of the tower. <laughs> top of the tower. It was a chair. So I went up there and went. The plane. The plane. Then he told me, come down, you're going to get beat by the black widow. <laughs> oh, that's so, a cute I story. <laughs> Does he sing? I don't want to just hear him talk. I don't want to hear his fucking audition story. He's short, but he's long-winded. There was one that said, <laughs> Ricardo Montalban. Oh, here he is. Oh. It's his single. He's I doing know, the but same, this yeah. is clear. This is much better. Oh. I love that this was his single. I love it, too. Like, he put it out. He's yes. going to be a recording artist. Merv had to run off and invent Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Hold the fort, little man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's like, this oh. is radio friendly. This is good. <laughs> He's tapping his little foot to the beat. <laughs> Aww. It was His a simpler time then. It really was. <laughs> Do you know what a beating he'd take on Twitter for this performance? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cyberbullying alone for this kid. <laughs> He's uh, a full grown man. He's like a three year old with mutton chops. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, his little foot's tapping. Aw. I oh, love that later in life he started growing, like, facial hair, like the big mustache. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. yes. he wanted to be, like, a cool he guy. He didn't want to be recognized. Yeah, yeah. it was that, that <laughs> horrible 70s, like, the average guy adopting the hippie look. Mm -hmm. yeah, that yeah. became punk. But and what was his name in the James Bond movies? Because he, he really was, like, he made that movie. Oh, God, yeah, I forget which one that was. Yeah. There was a picture of it earlier where he was like wearing a little tuxedo. Oh, and they have Peter Dinklage. Mixed <laughs> right. Yeah. That's not... No, just any yes. midget. Poor Peter <laughs> Dinklage. He, he must hate that guy. Peter must hate that guy. I he Peter hates her Peter... Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Peter Dinklage... He doesn't like any of that stuff. Peter Dinklage is making a movie where he plays Hervé Villachez. Wow. So, yeah. Wait, I mean, what else could He's he trying to get some of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look at Herve like a like a nephew Tom or something. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Dinklage is tr just trying to get some of that Tom Selleck pussy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is he really playing him? Yeah. What's his name in the in the movie? It's like a uh, knickknack or knick -knack. something. Knickknack. That's what it That's was. That's it. Knickknack. Oh, because yeah. oh, yes. you put him up on a shelf, the little guy. He's just a knickknack. A little knickknack. Look at him. He's just and, one of these little knickknacks. Who was the James Bond in there? Was that Roger Moore? 
Uh, let's see. It was uh, 1974. Yeah, that, I that's, think uh, Roger Is that Roger Moore in Roger 74? Moore. Yeah. Roger yeah. Moore, indeed. Oh, he was cheeky. I love that. They called him Nick Nick because cheeky. Hervé <laughs> Villages is just an accessory. Yeah. He's not a person. <laughs> Hummel was just too degrading. <laughs> <laughs> Hummel? <laughs> oh, Christopher, is Christopher Lee in that one? I love yes. no one better oh, than Christopher Scarab Lee. He's great. Mooch or something they called him. That's right. I remember. Weird name, like. <laughs> I love Christopher Lee. You ever see a uh, serial with no. Martin Mull and Sally mm-hmm. Kellerman, where he plays the fucking gay biker. We're tough dudes, Holroyd. It was such a good movie. No. Wow. No, I oh, never saw that. that. It's a comedy from like 1980. Mm. Okay. He's, he was great in Lord of the Rings. I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. Oh, Joe, are you still here? Hey, Joe. <laughs> I, am, uh, I, I got demoted to the couch because of my Star Wars talking. <laughs> Christopher Lee, he wore a toupee, and I heard he was so egotistical. When he would be in full makeup, like the mummy or Dracula. Frankenstein, mm-hmm. but like really the heavy, oh. like the mummy and Frankenstein and all this like full body makeup, they would have him, they apply all that on top no. of the toupee. He wouldn't even take the toupee off well, oh when he was God. covered Good in for him. bandages. Good for him. Wait. In case it fell off, he didn't want to be made a fool out of. <laughs> right. He's the best Dracula. Is he? Really? By far, yeah. But is America ready for a Better bald Dracula? <laughs> 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 well, a male when, pattern balding Dracula. When Phil Silver's <laughs> bald Dracula. Oh, right. It's such to be immortal and bald. I see. I'm a Lugosi. Yeah. <laughs> Never coming back in. <laughs> you think Christopher Lee is better than Bella Lugosi? Yes. I, I'm a Lugosi fan. I like yeah. Lugosi, yeah. but yeah. no, Christopher Lee was better. Lugosi was good. Yeah, Gilbert knows everything about horror, like all that old school horror stuff. Yeah, it's pathetic. Ah, what was the name of the studios they shot with? Christopher Lee. A hammer. Ah, I knew you'd know. Wow. Yeah. Hammer Boris, Jake Boris Karloff? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you Boris. don't need my shit. Yeah. <laughs> no one gives two fucks for Bella. <laughs> <laughs> So, Gilbert, you wouldn't like today's horror movies or anything like that? Like, uh, I mean, I'll watch them. Okay, like but... Get Out. Did you see that? No. You didn't see it. Why, okay. why was that? That sounds like a haunted house one. No, that's the, the new one. Yeah, go ahead, Sam. What, what Sam, is it about? go ahead. <laughs> Review it. So what, it's a black guy visits his white uh, girlfriend's family, and they're very... Wait, yeah. wait, wait. With Jordan... Samuel L. Jackson? No. 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 <laughs> there was one of those right. where he's a crazy cop. No, that was a few years ago. Oh, no, no. That was Unlawful Entry with Ray Liotta and (laughs) Madeline Stowe. Remember Madeline Stowe? Yes. Am I off off topic? What the fuck? Last of the Mohegans, yummers. What What the fuck happens to these actresses? I don't know. I'm a big Tuesday Weld guy. I'm still waiting for her. Oh, wow. God. Huh? I heard, I think David, David Steinberg. Oh, I used to fuck Tuesday. Did well. he? The comedian? Really? Yeah. Good for him. On yeah. Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going off to fuck Tuesday Wilt. <laughs> I'm getting Tuesday Wilt pussy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, David Steinberg. He used to guest host The Tonight Show all the time. Oh, yeah. Yes. He's a funny dude, man. Yeah. Is he a director now? He directed a lot of. Uh, oh, a lot Curb of directing. Or, no? Am I crazy? I don't know. Yeah, he, he? he directs all these TV shows. He was a little alt before the time, I think. It was yeah. all storytelling and, and whatnot, name dropping. That's yeah. Like Groucho. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's very good. Mm. But I didn't know he fucked Tuesday well. That's nice to know. So, Gilbert, when you take your kids, because your kids are young, like these movies, you don't take them to the old horror movies, uh, right? No, no, no. I try to get them to watch it on oh, TV. Oh, there's no way they would look at that. It's yeah. Like, Oh my god! It, it it's so weird now. Yeah. Like, what? So what do they like? Like, who's? What's their horror now? Uh, the I, police. Yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> what have they been? What have they been taught in that liberal school? Dara has them in. <laughs> but I I did teach them that you know, lo, uh, you know, I'll ask my son like who played the Wolf Man? He'll right. say Lon Chaney Jr. Wow. And who played Frankenstein? Boris Karloff, Dracula, mm-hmm. Bela wow. Lugosi. Crazy. How do you say the, his name? The what? Lugosi? Bela Lugosi. Lugosi. Yeah. First name, first name. Bela. Oh, Bela. Okay, I was yeah. Bela. I thought it was Bella. No? No, Bela. because uh, it, and it's so, even in The Wolfman, he plays a character named Bela. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Bela really? Lugosi. Crazy. What did Lon Chaney die of? 
a, a fucking everything. Really? Uh, Lon but, Chaney was the big man then? Uh, yeah, Lon Chaney Jr. Yeah, he was, I mean, he died of throat cancer. Right. But oh, he had, he, he, you know, I mean, he was a drinker and a smoker. So he had a million other diseases. Too. So he was a character. He's the guy who uh, wasn't he raised by two mute parents? Oh right? no, that's Lon Chaney Senior. Oh, I'm excuse me. By Sorry about that. <laughs> Wait, Lon Chaney Jr. Junior. He yeah. was Frankenstein. He yeah. played. He played. He was the only one to play all four Universal monsters: Frankenstein, wow. Dracula, the Mummy, and Wolf. And the Wolf, and Wolf. Wolf Man. Wow. Wow. I thought he played Dracula. He uh, he played Dracula. In yeah. what? In Son of Dracula. Oh, that one. That one. He just did that one for the money, though. Uh, yeah, right? I, I think. He, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but he talked like Lenny from Mice and Men, so no one liked it. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna turn into a bat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can kill me with a snake through the heart. <laughs> Renfield. Get my coffin ready. <laughs> That's a dead-on impression of someone we have no idea who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, exactly what he means. Don't I thought you were doing it with my mom's friend. <laughs> That's a darn good Lenny, if you don't mind me saying so. Darn good Lenny. I didn't like Gary Sinise's interpretation of Lenny. <laughs> so you still, like, you go to the theater with your kids? Uh, yeah. I mean, more... What do you take him to? Is it the same one that De Niro took, uh, fucking, what's your name to? Sybil Shepherd. <laughs> yeah, taxi driver. <laughs> <laughs> what do they like? Oh, uh, well, they like kid stuff. How old are they? Yeah, uh, eight and ten. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, if you saw the documentary, and by the way, we want to know why Jim was cut out of it. All right? Let's not dance around that anymore. <laughs> yeah. well, All right? not, I know you had director's cut. What happened yeah. there? Is, I said is... he simply wasn't good enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jim, Jim went to the premiere, and he, you know, he was sitting there, and he was watching the movie on the Tom, big screen. God. Tell him who I was sitting next to. Uh, what's his name from F Troop? Larry, Larry Storch. Storch. Yeah. So he's sitting next to Larry Storch, <laughs> and he realized about a half hour into the movie when some of the commenters on your life were going, were yeah, being or four hit back to for a second or third time. Yes. He realized that Jim's first time was not coming. That is the worst thing about <laughs> doing movies. Yeah. Is you go to see it and you go, oh, you know, here's my shot here's at stardom. Yeah. And then you go, okay, they probably moved it to later in the movie. Yeah, maybe they changed <laughs> the order. Yeah. The director didn't tell. I had a date. <laughs> oh, my God. It was Larry uh, Storch. Larry Storch. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I still fucked him in the mouth. <laughs> no, I was not. And, was not and your was date is going. You're in the Larry Storch section of the theater. <laughs> yeah, Gilbert, no, I, I went alone. I went solo. Gilbert, have you ever been cut out of a movie like? Because you were in some oh, big movies. So. Oh, I've been. Yeah. Here's here's a list of some movies I've been cut out of okay. that I wasn't good enough for. This thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's true. The Affleck uh, story. Uh, oh yes, yes. Um, Double Dragon. With what? Alyssa Milano. You were oh, cut out of it? I was like the cut video out game. of that. Joe, do you know this game? Oh, I know Double Dragon, of course, yeah. I remember and, when the movie came out. I was cut out of an, another you. The last Steve of Martin the movie. Gene Wilder, Richard uh, Pryor. Uh, sorry, yes. Which was scary. Who did bad. you play? Yeah, yeah. One was that the one? One was blind. One was deaf. No, that's no. here. No oh, here, no evil. Here, no evil. evil. Another you was uh, was that when Richard was walking real slow. I vaguely oh, remember. Oh, it. yeah. Richard looked Probably like he had already died. What was? Really? It? What were you? Yeah. Who'd you play in that? Uh, okay, it it took a lot of it took place in a nut house. So Whoa, that's you know, gotta be in, crazy. In, oh, the, you uh, a nut. <clears throat> in in the nut ha nut houses in movies yeah. are cute, adorable nuts. <laughs> you know, they all yeah. And so I got fired from it. First, the director got fired. That was Peter Bogdanovich. Oh. And then I I was fired, and some of the other cast. They scraped old previously shot footage and redid it. Wow. And oh, and they got in uh, Kevin Pollack ah. as one of the nuts. And <laughs> this this <laughs> was what gets me. Go I want to get every psychiatrist and mental health expert in the world, because uh, this is in so many movies and TV shows, and go, has there 
ever been a case of a crazy person doing celebrity impressions? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think William Shatner? Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Walken, and, Christopher Walken? Yeah. <laughs> and, Does he pull and, that one out? Uh, excuse me, man. <laughs> I, oh, definitely. And, and it's like, they, that's in so many movies <laughs> where you got a guy doing celebrity impressions. And I go, love it. Yeah, you go, I well, love it. Never gets old. I well, love it. Well, yeah. if, well, why don't you just put him in Las Vegas and let him make a fortune and live there? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, I don't see that. how that's a crazy trait. Yeah. How many right. scenes yeah. did you shoot? Uh, I, I, it was about, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Did you shoot with, uh, with Gene Wilder and Pryor? Uh, I, I wasn't with them directly, uh, Pryor actually was really nice to me. Really? He, he knew who I was. Can you do his voice? Because uh, Kevin can. Yeah. Yeah. He would come up to me and go, Oh, you know, can you see that, that voice? Uh, you are so funny. I've seen you and everything. You're so funny. Richard Pryor was, uh, he was great in Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Also sounds like oh, he was in Song of the you, South. Yeah. You could kill me with a steak through the heart. <laughs> Did you meet Gene at all? Uh I I met him, but he seemed like you know more serious. Uh, uh, and I think he probably realized he was in a piece of shit. Was it not a great film? <laughs> what, oh horrible. Oh, that's good. So I, he dodged a bullet. That's I good. I heard in one theater in L.A., they were showing that one time a day. That's how, no. wow. how, how they, it wasn't worse. That's nice. Running is it? it a bunch of times. Oh, is that bad? Okay. They were oh, showing yeah, that's once that's a day. It. Was it long, like your documentary? Or <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Vietnam PBS thing was a little uh, shorter yeah, than that. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I think yeah, I got cut off the, the time. Yeah, <laughs> Ken Burns' Civil War was shorter. You ever see what he does with photos? Guys, I hate to be serious. Crazy, brings them alive. <laughs> it's like they're alive. <laughs> So that's not bad, Gilbert. That's only like three movies, but you've done like at least ten, right? Yeah, 20? but I oh, I was also cut out of Blank Man. You were cut out of Blank Man. Say the word. Say the word. Man. You don't have to edit here. I was oh. not good enough for Blank Man. What was that about? That, that was, was like Hollow Man. That's no? Damon Wayne's uh, character. Yeah. From in, it, it, it was oh, like right. that was supposed to be his big. Oh yeah, breakout. yeah. What I year think, was that? Ninety four. Jim, Jim Carrey had Ace Ventura. And Damon wow. Wayans had Blank Man, and that was like the big, like in living color. Oh, yes. sure. Yes. Yeah, two movie stars. Oh, he's and a Damon Wayans was supposed to be the guy. And, and then play? Jim Carrey. He plays Blank yeah. Man. I know, but what did oh. Gilbert play? I was like some funny gangster or oh, something. Okay. And you were a heavy. Yeah, they, yeah. They you were a heavy. It was, <laughs> yeah. Did you and... do your George Raft? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen here, Blank Man. <laughs> <laughs> they decided not to use it, though. Let me see what else. I've Why did they cut you out of Blank Man? Do you know? I got. It wasn't good enough. I. <laughs> when, when it, did it you don't seem to let things bother you. Did it bother you when you got cut out of these movies? Were you hurt by it, it or afraid? It, 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 it's when 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 it's a movie that bad and you're cut out of it. It's a mixed thing. Yeah, it's a mixed. One way you're happy that you're not involved, but in another way you think. I was good enough for that. Yeah. Right. yeah. But does right. it freak like, you out, or do you just go, all right, I'll go home? Uh, yeah, no, They. it's it's after it's completed. They oh, they say, didn't fire, yeah. you said fired. They didn't fire you in the middle of it. Okay. Yeah, oh, I think with Blank Man, the director said that my scenes didn't fit in with the yeah. narrative okay. of the movie. Because they, weren't, they weren't good. I've heard that yeah. about myself. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry, right. I'm surprised they'd say that. I mean, you do seem mafioso like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but once you get, once you go from like, you had Problem Child, which was huge, and then Aladdin, which was like out of the stratosphere. Yeah. Like, yeah. once you got that, like, it kind of doesn't matter anymore, right? Yeah, yeah. You'd, you'd hope it doesn't, <laughs> but, but you could still get cut out of shit. What else have you been cut out? Well, you, you were in Look Who's Talking To. Yeah. Uh, was yeah. Travolta in that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How did he yeah. treat you? Because you were a little younger then. Did he... Did he, uh... <laughs> <laughs> did he take notice of you? <laughs> <laughs> you want to turn you into his Tom Selleck pussy? Uh, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> did he ask you to massage him while the chef made a burger? <laughs> yes, he did. I am done to the burger. Give me hot shack pussy. <laughs> That's a, were you ever in any of those 70s TV shows like Happy Days or anything like that? Uh, oh, never on Happy Days. Oh, you did, I, I heard you were cast. They, they canceled. The, they didn't do the episode. The one where uh, Mrs. Cunningham is raped by a gang. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you on Mad? And you're the one white gang member? No. Because you look like a likable North Korean to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you played Kim Jong Sr. <laughs> Weren't you in F Troop? <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you one of the Hakawi? Yeah. <laughs> Weren't you in Hogan's Heroes? You made the Nazis laugh and they opened up the gates. See, see now that's the thing. Had I been uh, born a couple of years yes, earlier, yes. I could have been an Indian chief on F Troop. You really could have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what about any of the, let's say, so like the seven, late 70s, seven, early 80s would be like your, your yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, the 80s. The okay. Wonder Years, baby. Or, uh, you know, what was the one with the little robot chick? Small Wonder? Yeah. Small and Wonder. I heard. Oh, love Were you on Elf? I, no. Oh. I heard with small wonder yeah. that one of the one of the actors who played her brother, yeah. uh, they they reported in some tabloid was living under a bridge. Wow. Yeah. When? Well, yeah, he was like homeless. Not, not, after, not during. No, after. No, no. no. I <laughs> yeah. would hope not. I think small wonder would say that does not compute. <laughs> yeah, I watched that. That was cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny though. You think those residual checks for small wonder would keep you going? I guess not. Small yeah. wonder was not. It's not the good. empire I thought it was. And, no. But so many of them got got screwed on the residual checks. Yeah, I'm a big Anson kids. Williams guy, and he's talked about that a lot, uh, how they just didn't get the money. Yeah. I'm I, a big Anson Williams I am, guy. I am. I'm done most. I, I've heard it referenced that um, even, what's his name, D David Faustino from Married, Married with Children. With children. I heard he didn't get residuals. Wow, that wow. show was on forever. Do you know who got them from the Honeymooners? Time. Joyce Randolph is the one. Yes. Her brother was a lawyer. Yes. And I, yeah, her brother was a lawyer, and she said, I'm having my brother negotiate the deal. And That's they great. were, like, laughing. Okay, oh, yeah. her brother. Mm -hmm. And and he, one of his demands was that she'll get paid every time it's shown, which they laughed at, too, because they said, hey, you watch it once. Yeah, watch the reason for keep showing it. They didn't understand. Yeah. So yeah. they said, yeah, yeah, okay, she'll get paid. So they put that in it. And... Yeah, because, I mean, that's like, there yep. are these shows that get showed like 24 hours a day. I'd love to know how much she made and did it decrease over time because they never saw cable TV coming. Yeah. So maybe it just stayed the same every time, but it couldn't have been that much. I'd love to know how much money she made from that show after the 50 years of but it being shown. It is funny, too, when you get, sometimes I'll open my mailbox and and they'll be like, uh, you know, it looks like a thousand residual checks in wow. there. And and I'm and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna buy an island in Hawaii <laughs> with this. <laughs> and I I I. I I add them all up, and it comes to like a dollar twenty. I know, mm. and I go to the bank with those too. Like I'll still once in a while I get like a Lucky Louie one for six cents, uh, <laughs> sold you know into into foreign distribution in Indonesia. Yes. But you got to write them down and put them in the bank. It's kind of I, humiliating. Right? I've got I have one in a frame that I got for a penny. Really? I like the paper it's written on is worth more. <laughs> what was it for? Do you and remember? I, I, oh, I was in this movie. Oh, that I was cut out of. But they paid me anyway. I Schindler's guess. List? Uh, they, <laughs> no, they begged One him to penny. do it. <laughs> One penny. Mom and Dad <laughs> Save the Earth. Oh, oh, that sounds important. What happened? That's, yeah, that one, uh, Terry Gar and Jeffrey Jones. Wow. Oh my God! And, and John oh, Lovitz. I used to file trade with him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and I was cut out, but they that? sent me a residual check for mm. a penny, and I put it there with uh, a fortune I got from a Chinese restaurant <laughs> that said. Your talents will be recognized and suitably rewarded. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> wow. But that is, it's these crazy checks you'll get for a penny. I have a Richard Pryor. I bought one off eBay. It was Richard Pryor's residual check. It was the Aaron Spelling production of the Mod Squad. Do you think it's real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a $5 Richard Pryor check that was never cashed to Richard Pryor from Aaron Spelling Productions. Like, wow. yeah, I don't think anybody would fake oh, that. Oh, and when I, when I framed the penny one... 
then they sent me another uh, authorized letter saying, uh, we have it in our files that you did not cash <laughs> the last check. Did you receive it? So they, they sent me another penny check. Oh, that's that, great. <laughs> That's three letters, yes. three stamps, three pieces of paper. That's a hundred thousand times, and all of a sudden you got yourself a little oh, something. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is your one-woman show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, what am I worth, people? Exactly. <laughs> Guess how many residual checks this blouse costs. You know, to bring it, it back. It, no, let's see how many one-man shows that they've had. How many uh, have you been cut out of? Oh, that, <laughs> def- <laughs> that would be the ultimate. <laughs> Uh, oh, defending the cave, man! Oh, yes, that, was that was good. That's a gold mine, by the way. That that one, the guy who created that, that is a gold mine. That's like all international. And uh, is he still doing it? No, he not. He, he like franchised it out. He to died. Other guys. No, he didn't die. Oh, he just didn't rob something or. He did like one or two Letterman's, and then after that, he went right into uh, this this play. He that held. is the dream. Yeah, I mean, you not do you, that. You stay at home and collect checks. You should come out and and, and just do your characters. You start as Bella Lugosi or however you say <laughs> it. Bella, and then you, you work your way down to Hervé Villachez. <laughs> and the the funny thing is, on those one man shows. See, when you do stand up, it's like you got to be funny every second up there. In a one man show, you talk for an hour. (laughs) Yes. And then you'll say, oh, and when I'm on the couch, I hold the remote control. And everyone's like, oh, ha, ha, ha. (laughs) And and it's like, sounds like a joke, good enough. (laughs) That's true. Yeah. I love the one man shows when the pictures come up. That's my favorite part when you're talking about the multimedia. Schenectady. And then all of a sudden, the picture comes up. And it's like, oh, God, <laughs> these guys are on top of it. <laughs> oh, and then there was, uh, well, they, let's well, see. That's Mel Brooks doing the cave. Who did it? It was Rob something who did it. Did we find defending the caveman? Oh, only only the truth is funny was another one of those one man shows. I'm trying to think of that one. <laughs> I who's, forget who who's Venny and the Caveman. He just wrote Venny. I, don't, I, I don't know what it was. Oh, it's, just, <laughs> it's Venny and the Jets. He wrote Venny and the Caveman. <laughs> so what is it? Where would you do your one man show if you could defending do it? the oh, Caveman? God, oh, defending that, the Caveman. That scares me. <laughs> Venny and the Caveman. Venny and the Caveman. <laughs> I think you should do it where you live, TJ Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> His name was. Uh... There he is. Oh, the guy whose name oh, was Rob Benny. Becker. Oh. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, no, he stopped doing it a while ago, and he franchised it out, and it's like all over the, uh, the you know, uh, all, it's world thing. It's Boy, a world thing. that's show. a dream. Yeah. yeah. To have a franchise where... But yeah. franchising a one-man show, that's like a whole new world. You know? Yeah. It's like Cirque du Soleil or something. Oh, right? that's like, so well, good, the jokes they do in that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it, it is a thing of... You just collect your checks. That's what, that's what Kiss is working on doing, right? Just franchising the band out? Let them do it. It's all makeup. I back him. You're okay with that, right? I back Kiss. Yeah, of course you do. What do you, uh, did you, did you ever see, uh, what did you say, Cirque du Soleil? Did you ever see any of those? Zumanity? Uh, no, Were no. Well, you cut out a Blue Man group and you were <laughs> <laughs> One time my agent sent me up to be, oh, good, yeah, I keep my phone on. That makes a great yes. deal of sense. Maybe, maybe he's got a new premise. Uh, it, <laughs> see, see, that would be... A big joke in a one-man show. And, of course, I leave my phone on. <laughs> yeah. And then you answer it and you riff back and forth with the person. Yeah. That'd be uh, great. Yeah. <laughs> no, then, I said I can't and, make the audition yes. today. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it's Dustin Hoffman and he's like, my fingers smell. <laughs> I, I remember, I think it was... Harry Hamlin. Oh, and that guy's his wife. great. He's a good looking guy. They, they yeah. were doing a reality show. No. Where, <laughs> yeah. And in one part of the reality show, it's like they're opening a store or something. Mm-hmm. And in on a talk show, and this was so fucking false. I mean, it's like he's there, and in the middle of the interview, his cell phone. Of rings. course. And mm-hmm. he takes out his cell phone on the air, like you'd really do that. Mm-hmm. And he go, "Oh, I better take this." And you know, first he acted a little. Oh, I can't believe I sure. left my phone on. And he takes it. I goes, "What?" 
There was a fire in the store. <laughs> oh, my God. The story we talk about on my reality show, there was a big fire. <laughs> oh, no. Everything's destroyed. <laughs> and it's like, it wow. Was, and this was, it was 1975, so the cell phone was a really <laughs> unusual. <laughs> he it, had it with a cord. <laughs> yeah, it was It was one of those, like. Um, yeah, cannon head or one of those. Or Ironside. <laughs> yeah, those those um, um, Saved by the Bell. <laughs> yeah, big with that. Oh, the yeah. antenna. Which you, one yeah. did the fat pig detective have in his car? Was that Cannon? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you downhill. That was the only thing that was always going downhill. So when you did when you did wife swap, was that all real? Like when you were uh, you did wife swap with the with the late great uh What's oh, his, Alan, Alan Thicke, Thick, yeah, yeah, and you kept annoying his wife by doing an Alan Thicke oh, impression oh, yeah, to her. Yeah, yeah, because the song, I was on Thick of the Night also. Wow. I got fired from Thick of the Night. Oh, that's, Why? A, that's a blessing. That, and, and boy, but talk about also a blessing, but also like the biggest insult, because oh, that was sure, like yeah. the worst it show was. ever. <laughs> and I got fired from that, but... He used to, he he wrote and sang the theme song of Thick of the Night, which went as follows: Mimi do leave the lady, I'm in the room tonight. Everyone needs a dream to hold in. I'm gonna make it and make it. Too soon, Gilbert. Too soon. the thick of the night under the city lights. Running it in the thick of the night. And then he, he also it? Did you do he, that for his wife? He uh, yes. He also yes. he also had a song out when remember when everyone was trying to cash in on the aerobicize craze. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. So yeah. Oli- Olivia Newton John had a tremendous hit. With let's get physical, uh, right? Yes. And and then Diana Ross tried to jump on it oh, with no. uh, uh, I forget what hers was. What was the Diana Ross aerobicize? I don't know, but whatever I improv yeah. will get me fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Alan Thick had one where everyone's dancing around him in spandex, and he's going. Sweetie and hot, let's get sweet. So now you had it sexual, sweaty. too. I mean, she just said, let's get physical, and he's going, let's get yeah, sweaty. Yeah, <laughs> sweetie and hot. Did you do that for his wife? Oh, yes. <laughs> Dude, no. I, I, was watching, I watched that show, and, and the whole time she's getting pissed because he keeps doing his Alan Thicke and, and, and she was getting angrier and angrier, saying, no, he doesn't sound that way. <laughs> and then I, I found on the internet Internet, him singing sweaty and hot <laughs> and she looked at it with her jaw hang up and she goes oh my god he there does he sound there that way is. oh there let's hear this Ooh. It wow. really is a good impression. This is no blurred lines that's good. for sure <laughs> <laughs> the lines are strictly drawn yeah. mm. Is that collar going up later in the song? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, undeniable toe tapper. 